To get started on Pando, you'll first need to download the app. Depending on the device you're using, head to either the Apple App Store or Google Play Store and simply search and download Pando. Once downloaded, enter the app to get started. To begin creating your account, tap Get Started and enter the work email address you'd like your account to be registered with. To ensure Pando is kept secure, we only allow approved domains to sign up to Pando. If the domain of your email is yet to be whitelisted, you can send us an email and we'll be able to assist you. Once you've entered your email address with a whitelisted domain, tap Submit and a verification code will be sent to your email. Grab the code and enter it into Pando. You'll then need to read and accept the terms of our acceptable use policy and our privacy policy. To read through these, click on the links and you'll be taken to the policies on our website. Our second line of authentication that keeps Pando secure is the four digit PIN code you'll need to enter each time you use Pando. Here, you'll be able to create and confirm your PIN. It's now time to create your profile. Enter your name, search for your role, type in your speciality and select the organisation you work for. With many roles in health and social care, we've tried to keep the list as broad as possible. However, if your role isn't there, please let us know and we'll add it in. If you'd like to allow your colleagues to call you through Pando, enter your phone number here. Now your profile is complete. Click Start and allow for notifications so you know when you've received a message. You're now ready to start messaging on Pando. To send your first message, find your colleague using Pando's directory by tapping the search bar at the top of the chat's homepage. You can then use the filter in the top left corner to select what you're looking for. In this case, we'll select users. Scrolling down the directory, you'll first see users within your own organisation. To easily find the colleague you're looking for, use the search bar at the top. You can search by name, role, speciality and organisation. So even when you don't know your colleague's name, you can still find the person you need. If initially you're unable to find the colleague you're looking for, try searching in other organisations. Once you've found the colleague you need, tap on their name to enter into a direct message with them. Similar to other messaging apps you're familiar with, click the message box to begin typing your message. You can also use the dictation on your keyboard to dictate your message. Just click on the little microphone in the bottom right hand corner. To stay in the loop and communicate with your colleagues, you'll want to join their team. In order to become a member of the team, an existing member will have to add you. So find and message an existing member of the team and ask them to add you in. Teams are the easiest way to share and discuss clinical information in a group on Pando. Want to create your own team? Simply click on the little green plus next to Teams on the chat's homepage. On the Team Info page, enter the team name at the top. To add your colleagues into the team, tap Add slash Remove Colleagues and find and select your colleagues from the list. Then click Save in the top right corner. Finally, tap Create to finalise your team. You can now begin messaging. When you need to add a new member to your team, simply click on the team name at the top to enter the team info page. From here, follow the previous steps to add them in. With Pando, you can securely take and share images with your colleagues. All of the images you take and share on Pando will be securely held within your Pando gallery. To access this, simply click on the gallery icon in the bottom bar. To upload any images you may already have on your device's camera roll, click import in the top right corner and select the images you want to add to your Pando gallery. Now that your photos are securely within Pando, you can delete these from your camera roll. 
click on the camera icon in the top left corner to access your device's camera. Once you're ready to take the photo, click on the circle at the bottom. By clicking on the pencil in the top right corner, you'll be able to draw on your image. This will allow you to highlight a certain area of the image that you'd like to draw attention to. When you're ready, click save in the bottom corner to add the image to your gallery. To ensure your images are kept securely, all of the photos you take and share are stored on our servers and are only accessible when in the Pando app. They are never saved to your personal mobile device. To view an image, simply tap on the image thumbnail. At the top of the image, you'll see it's been named by the date and time that that image was taken. You may wish to include the patient or details of what's in the photo in the name. Simply click edit in the top right corner to rename the photo. The only way to export an image out of Pando is by sending it to your email address. To do this, click on the envelope icon at the bottom left of the image. You'll be prompted to ensure you have the patient's consent to take the image. Once you've clicked yes, your image will then be sent to the work email address you signed up to Pando with. From there, you can forward the image or upload to an EPR as necessary. You can also share images from the gallery into a chat by clicking on the speech bubble icon. Tap here and select the colleague or team you'd like to send it to. You can also attach images to patient cards from the gallery. Simply click on the person icon and select the patient card you'd like to attach it to. If you no longer need an image, simply click on the bin in the bottom right corner to delete it from your gallery. It can sometimes be easier to share an image while in conversation. To take an image while in a chat, click on the camera icon to access your camera. You can then take, edit and send the photo. You might also want to share an image you took earlier. If you click on the landscape icon, you'll be able to select an image from your gallery to send in the chat. To easily call a colleague from Pando, tap on the phone icon in the top right corner. If they've registered with their phone number, you'll be able to make the call using your device's calling functionality. This is especially useful for when you may not have their number saved in your phone. A forum is an open group which anyone within your network can search for and join. Forums can be used to discuss best practices, ideas, research and more with users within your organisation and beyond. To join an existing forum, click on the green plus next to forums on the chat's homepage. You can then search for a forum you'd like to join. If you can't find a particular forum, try searching in other organisations. Once you've found the forum, simply tap on its name to enter the info page. Here you can see what the forum is about and existing members of the forum. If you'd like more information on a member, tap on their name to see their profile. Simply click join forum at the bottom of the forum info page to become a member. As forums are open to all, please remember that patient details should not be shared here. If there's not an existing forum on the topic you're looking for, you can simply create a new one. To do this, click create at the top of the forum search page. You'll then be able to enter the forum name and use the forum topic to describe what the forum's about. You can also search for and add your colleagues. However, other users will also be able to freely search for and join your forum from the forum search page. We all need advice or a second opinion sometimes, but it can be hard to know who is the right person to ask or how to contact them. This is where Pando's Ask Advice teams step in. They are teams that have been set up to allow you to request advice and guidance from the right people quickly and easily. 
At the bottom of Pando's chat's homepage, you will see the Ask Advice bar. To search for an Ask Advice team, click on the green plus sign next to it. Here, you will be able to scroll through all of the Ask Advice teams open to you within your organisation and search for the one you need. If you can't find the Ask Advice team you need, try searching in other organisations. Once you've found the Ask Advice team you need, tap on its name to view the team info page. Here you'll be able to see the information the team has provided and who you'll be receiving advice and guidance from. When you're ready to send your request, click Ask Advice and begin typing in your question. Similar to normal messaging on Pando, you'll be able to take and share images and attach patient cards to provide more information. Your message will then be sent to the members of the Ask Advice team, who will be able to provide you with the guidance you need. Their reply will be shown within the Ask Advice chat. Once you've received the guidance you need, simply click Tap to Resolve to close the conversation. If you need to refer back to the guidance you received sometime in the future, you'll be able to find all of your closed conversations within your Ask Advice history. If you'd like to create an Ask Advice team to provide guidance to others, the process is very similar to creating a normal team. Simply follow the same steps as before, and make your team available for advice on the team info page. In this example, we'll go back to the team we created previously and toggle Ask Advice on. Once you've made your team available for advice, you'll then be able to add information to be shown to requesters. This can include what advice the team can provide and guidance on the details that should be included when submitting a request. The team icon has now changed from a padlock to a question mark, indicating that it is an Ask Advice team. Patient cards are an easy way to hold patient demographics, notes and details of tasks related to a particular patient. They can be shared in message streams for opinions or referrals or used simply for your own point of reference. You'll be able to access your patient cards by clicking on the list or patient icon in the bottom bar. To create your first patient card, simply click on the plus button in the top right corner. First you'll be taken to the task screen. Click More Info to be taken into the Patient Details section of the card. Head to Patient Info to enter the patient's demographics. If there are any wards that you'd like to be added to the list, please let us know and we'd be happy to add them for your organisation. Once you've checked over the patient's details, head to Notes to include additional details to the patient card. You may wish to add the patient's medical history, history of the current complaint, notes from your last visit with the patient, or even details of others involved in their care. This is an open text box, so you can add as much or as little detail as you need. Any images that have been attached to the patient card will be visible within the Files section. For each image, you'll see its name and the date and time it was attached to the patient card. Should you wish to export an image to your email, simply click on the envelope icon, or if an image is no longer needed on a patient card, click on the bin icon to archive the image. To make things convenient, you can also access your camera to take and attach an image directly to the patient card. Simply click on the camera icon and take the image. Each patient card also has a tasks list. Here you'll be able to add any tasks that need to be completed for the patient. To create your task list, simply click new task and begin typing. You'll also be able to order your task list by holding down the three lines on the right of a task and dragging it into position. This can be useful in highlighting a task or reordering based on priority. Once you've completed a task, Tap on the circle to mark it as complete. 
All completed tasks will be shown below. Patient cards can be useful in improving handovers and shared care scenarios. They are also particularly beneficial for multidisciplinary teams as all aspects of each patient's care can be updated in real time. To hand over a patient card, head to the patient info page and click on assign patient. You'll then be able to find and select the colleague you'd like to assign the patient to. Once saved, they will have access to view and edit the patient card. If you no longer need access to the patient card, you can also deselect yourself from the list. You'll also be able to assign a patient card to a team you're a member of. All members of your team will then be able to view and edit the patient card by clicking Patients in the top right corner of the team chat, allowing your team to easily collaborate on a patient's care. You can also share a patient card with a colleague directly within a chat by clicking on the patient icon or plus sign and adding the patient card you'd like to share. This will allow your colleague to view the details and images on the patient card. However, they will not have access to edit the information. It can be important to separate your work life from your personal life, allowing you to switch off when necessary. By making yourself unavailable on Pando, you can easily stop yourself from receiving notifications when off shift. By clicking on the status toggle at the top of the chat's homepage, you can set yourself as unavailable for one or 48 hours or a custom time period, after which you will automatically become available again, so you don't even have to remember to switch it back on. When you've marked yourself as unavailable, your status icon will turn orange, as seen here with Simon Samworth. This indicates to your colleagues that you're off shift, so they know a delay is to be expected. Within Pando settings, you'll be able to control your account, including changing and updating your profile, viewing and accessing all of the teams you are a member of, and enabling face or fingerprint ID, depending on your device. You'll only be able to communicate with your colleagues on Pando once they've downloaded the app and signed up for an account. To easily invite your colleagues, tap the Invite Colleagues button in Settings to share the link to the Pando app via your chosen communication medium, including WhatsApp and email. So if your team are in a WhatsApp group, you can easily send the link to everyone, inviting them to Pando. If you ever need to contact our support team with a query or feedback, you can click on the customer support link in settings to access our website support page. Here, you can drop us an email with your contact details so we can get back to you, or send us a message via our website support chat. We also have an extensive help article library, which may provide you with a quick and easy solution.